Good evening everybody and welcome to the video. In this video, I want to show you a small project demo that I've been working on. Uh, essentially creating a lightning fast uh, real-time application using WebSocket, that is API Gateway, which is powered by DynamoDB backend. So you heard it right, let's see a small demo and dive into the project. All the resources and codes are available in the description. So here is a demo that I want to show you. So if you observe here, I have, um, I, I do have a, uh, you know, web app here, right? If you observe carefully, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a new tab and simply open this link over here. So what you will see is you see the total number of connections are two, right? Let's open a third one, right? Real time, I can see how many tabs, you know, how many users are active, right? I can see that. And if you observe the DynamoDB table as well, uh, again, now I'll try to zoom a little bit here. So if I open up DynamoDB table, there are three tables that I made, uh, dev.active connection. So this table will have all the active connection. There are three active connections. I close the first one, two active connections, one active connection is still open, right? So amazing, right? And all the history of uh, when the person connected is in this DynamoDB table. So I can see total seven people connected so far, right? These, these are all the on-connect events. And of course, they are a corresponding uh, JSON object, right, that we received. Similarly, we do that for the on disconnect event as well. Refresh. Here you can see on disconnect and a corresponding JSON object. Uh, the the dev.active connection is a table that maintains the active connection that are currently right now on the website. So here you can see there is one guy. And if I close this tab as well, if you observe, I did close the tab. Now, if I, if I refresh, uh, this should be gone. So refresh, that's gone. So let's go and dive into the project structure and the code. Again, all of the resources are available. So you guys can try this out. So this is the project, WebSocket project, a small um, you know project. Here is the front end code, which is a simple index.html where I have written all my uh, you know uh, code for the front end. Lambdas, these are the lambdas that are gonna be fired. Model is essentially the PynamoDB class. These are the three uh, DynamoDB uh, tables on connect, uh, on disconnect is the third table and the active table, which essentially, as I showed, will have all the active connections. Now let's take a look at the infrastructure code. Uh, so hopefully this should make sense. Over here, I'm defining my service. I'm defining my framework and the provider and declaring all my plugins here. Uh, I'm also creating a Python layers called PynamoDB, which allows me to interact with DynamoDB much easier. Here are my four functions. Uh, if you observe on connect, basically whenever a WebSocket initiates a connection on connect, this Lambda would be fired on disconnect. Then I have two more routes called get live user that you saw on the screen, right? Get live user and get active users that are there, right? Now let's take a look at one of them. Should be simple, uh, right here we have, we are saying that in go, go inside a folder called Lambda and there's a, there's, a, uh, there's a function called connect handler. We'll see the Lambda function. Um, again, it's super, super easy. If you observe here, what I'm doing is whenever there's a connection made, uh, I'm essentially inserting into the on connect DynamoDB table. I'm also inserting into the active DynamoDB table, right? Whenever it disconnects, I'm saving an item in the disconnect table and then I'm also deleting the active one. So now my on disconnect will have the history and my active table will have all the current active and inactive person that came on the website. So hopefully that made sense, right? So this is on connect and then we have a disconnect handler. And similarly, we made a custom route called get live user handler. Uh, this is very easy. All it does is basically, if you observe, uh, there's a route called get on live user. This is what you saw on the website, right? Uh, really quick. So if I go to the front end and I simply click here, these are the total number of active people that are there on the website, right? Number one, right? This one. So uh, coming here, uh, this uh, Lambda function, all it does is basically uh, it scans. Uh, if you observe here, if the event type is, uh, you know, get live user, I call a function and here I'm performing a scan on the active table and I'm returning the account. So these are the total active people on my website. Similarly, I have a function or a method for returning all the active user with their name, uh, whatever the event type, right? So here is the method that I do that, right? Hopefully this is pretty straightforward. Uh, let's take a look at the JavaScript. Again, very simple, nothing crazy. 
making a web socket connection and when we have an open when we do on connect right uh, what we do basically uh, I, I think i should have done on on connect though but it's fine i'm sending a action called get live user this essentially will hit my serverless file and hopefully you should get the idea here this hits my serverless file right if you observe get live user right this hits the file this goes to the lambda function and this will match over here if you observe carefully coming to the serverless this is matching the on the yml and this will match in the code and this will go to the dynamo db scan it and get me all the live user right and then essentially what we do is we again you can use react whatever you like uh, here i have a method called on message so whenever I receive the data from my WebSocket. Uh, if the event is get live user, I, I have a very simple template, a handlebar JS template. Uh, here, if you observe, I have a container BG success. And here, um, here is where I am injecting the total number of live users on my website. Very easy, right? Super easy. So this made sense, right? Uh, so again, I do that. If I come down, I did the same thing for get uh, active user. So I wanted to show all the active user, right? So if I open up a new tab, there's a two user right now, right? So that is um, that is that, right? So coming back here, again, these names should be familiar. So this uh, name on the JavaScript or on the index.html will match to a, one of the routes, as you can see. And then this will match to the one of the Python Lambda function, which will essentially, you know, fetch the data that I want. Again, uh, this is all the code I have. Uh, I encourage you guys to try it out. It's a very fun project. There are three DynamoDB tables. Uh, if you observe caref carefully now, again, just a wrap up. Again, so this is the API gateway here. You'll have a dollar connect, dollar disconnect on message and uh, whatever routes you wanna make, you can keep making your routes and you can even design a chat application using this, right? So you observe here, again, just, just to show you, right? These are all the routes that I have. Each route are essentially associated to a Lambda function. Again, straightforward, right? Nothing uh, difficult here. These are all my three Lambda functions. These are my three DynamoDB tables. Uh, connect will essentially store all the connect. Disconnect stores the disconnect. Active will store all the active connections that are currently live on my website. So as I keep closing this one of them, uh, this should go away because we delete that data from the active, but it, it will be there on the disconnect uh, table as well, okay? So it's a very fun project. Uh, you know, I, I, I strongly encourage you guys to come and try this out. And all you gotta do is you just have to change the access keys here, right? And you can just say SLS deploy and this will essentially deploy the entire stack. Again, come, please try it out. And let me just quickly share my screen. Hopefully the webcam loads, it usually takes a while, but I hope you guys will enjoy these projects. Uh, all the source code is there. Uh, if you just try this out, you will learn the concepts of WebSocket, Lambda functions, DynamoDB, a little bit of front end. So I would call this project a little bit of a full stack because you have database, you have front end, you have a back end, pretty much everything you have in this video. So I encourage you guys to try it out. And if you have any more questions, list your question. And until then, see you guys next time.